for your midterm, we're going to be doing two parts. We're going to be building a comprehensive student profile and at the same time, writing an IEP. Those two pieces together build all of the information you need for an IEP. So when you're thinking about formatting, read chapter four, use page 61. If you look on the left side, it walks you through the areas of focus. If you have all of those things done on a comprehensive profile, then you are ready to dig into the website and start writing the IEP. One thing I wanna caution you on is if you'll notice student perspective, You've got to have student voice in this IEP. This cannot be adults sitting around and having this done to a child or a young adult. So please make sure you're thinking about how you're getting student voice so that you're building IEP goals that students can connect to and that they also believe are really important. Um, there's a blank IEP form on there. If you want to use that, you're welcome to. If you want to use what your district has, that's fine. The reference from OSPI in regards to is it a compliant IEP is also on here. You don't need to submit that, but you do want to make sure that you're submitting a compliant IEP or it'll be an opportunity to get some feedback and try that again. Also, all of the pieces on the website around present levels and measurable annual goals and all of those things are great references for you. So go through the slide decks, watch the videos. Those are gonna be the pieces that get you to the end. You also have a great resource in the classroom that you're teaching. You've seen IEPs be done. This is not your most important work but it is one of the pieces that you are going to have to keep compliant for your district.